But first, the latest on a violent threat made against Belgrade schools, which sparked a massive response by staff and police. Alarming new details tonight over this threat, which placed schools in lockdown and left parents with questions. Tonight, we're learning the threat was so severe, four students involved in the threat could be tried as adults. And also tonight, we're learning an adult was also involved. MTN's Cody Boyer has the latest. That's right, Andrea. Belgrade police, as well as the Belgrade superintendent, Godfrey Saunders, both say this was a situation that deserved every precaution taken and necessary. It started with the video, which led investigators to a nearby home, and according to court documents, four students, an 18-year-old David Oster. This is real stuff. When you start playing with real weapons, that crosses the line. The video shows four high school students taunting a named list of other students and swearing from a home near Belgrade High School. At one point, you can see one student holding a handgun. This all happened during the students' lunchtime. Nine minutes later, after getting back from lunch, they, um, the administration called law enforcement and got them involved. Superintendent Saunders says 20 students saw the video and brought it to the school's attention. There are some kids, 20 kids, who knew that this was over the line, that this was too far. That led police back to the house where they found Oster, who wasn't there when the video was filmed. Gallatin County deputies say at first, Oster lied about the gun's location, but eventually showed police that it was hidden in a portable toilet nearby. The students told investigators it was either his or it belonged to someone else living there. Anytime you have an incident that involves uh, a firearm, then <clears throat> You, you have to make some quick decisions about, is it just one firearm? Are there more firearms out there? From the discovery to law enforcement's involvement, Saunders says that took nine minutes total. Truly, it was a matter of minutes. And then from that point on, it was a matter of making decisions as to um, what to do next. Which was protecting all students immediately. The students whose names were on that video, where are they, you know, where are the students who are involved with producing the video? Superintendent Saunders says student safety obviously was and always is key. That's why the principal says all the teachers and other staff here at the high school have radios for quick communication. During a shelter in place like this, we're able to communicate with them uh, real time information. Saunders says you may have freedom of choice, but not freedom of consequence, something he hopes his students take to heart. The greatest gift that they can give anyone is to help take care of each other and themselves. That's that's precious. Now I did speak with the county attorney who also says the process is still in its early stages to see if the four kids will be possibly tried as adults in this case. As for Oster, his bail was set at $250,000. In Belgrade, Cody Boyer, MTN News. All right, Cody, thanks for an update on that.